In addition to class attributes, the fill and pen color of objects that are on a design layer can be controlled by the color settings of that design layer. In this example, we have an existing floor plan with an addition planned on a separate design layer. We have used the same classes for all of the objects as were used in the original drawing to keep everything consistent and easy to work with. However, if I wish to use class attributes to display the difference between existing and proposed construction, I would have to reclass all of my already created objects. This takes time and can double the amount of classes you already have. Without using custom selection or class attributes, we can quickly change the colors of objects on individual layers in a manner that will be completely reversible with a single checkbox. To enable the use of layer colors, go to File, Document Settings, and Document Preferences. Under the first tab, you'll see Use Layer Colors. Check this box and click OK. Layer colors are now enabled. You can change a layer's pen and fill color before or after you've enabled Use Layer Colors from the Document Preferences menu. To control the color of objects by their design layers, go to Tools, Organization, and select the Design Layers tab. Select one or several layers, then click Edit. The Edit Design Layers dialog box will open. Click Colors. The Color Defaults for Layer dialog box will open. For either the pen, fill, or both, you can set the foreground and background colors by clicking the appropriate list and selecting a color from the main color menu dialog box. A preview example is shown at the bottom of the dialog box. The fill background color controls the appearance of objects with a solid fill. If objects do not have a fill attribute, such as lines or loci, then the fill color will have no effect, only the pen. Keep in mind that these colors override class attributes and object attributes alike. Click OK. Don't forget, as of Vectorworks 2011, you can also enable and disable the use of layer colors in the Quick Preferences bar at the top right of your drawing area. The viewports have separate control of layer colors. Individual viewports can use either layer colors or not. This setting is controlled in the Object Info palette for each viewport in the Layers dialog box. Make sure to note, these settings are overwritten by the black and white only option in the Document Preferences dialog box, even with the Use Layer Colors option selected. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical articles. Thank you and have a great day.